United use this facility, the visiting team don't, the manager doesn't and the coaching staff don't. Just the Manchester United players. What happens before a home game, United stay at a local hotel overnight. So Alex likes to know where all his players are and what they're getting up to. Then of course, on the day of the game, depending on kickoff time, they'll have a breakfast, midday meal or mid-afternoon meal, full of carbohydrates, ready for the game ahead. And then about two hours, two and a half hours before kickoff, they'll leave the hotel, they brought to the stadium, and they come in here. Now in here, it's geared up for them to relax. Now it is important the players do relax, because the hour before the game, when they call into the dressing room, and the 90 minutes of the game, they're going to be under some pressure to get three points or a win for Manchester United. So in here, relaxation. The bar is open, but it's only serving soft drinks. Now different players relax in different ways. Normally there are more chairs in here than we've got at the moment, so different players will relax in different ways. Some will come in and sit down and watch the televisions at each end of the room here. There's also one just round the corner there. Other players will read a book, a magazine or a newspaper. Others will sit down, stick headphones on and listen to some relaxing music. And then about an hour before kickoff, one of the coaching staff comes in and the 11 players and substitutes chosen for today's game leave here and they walk across the corridor and into the dressing room. A journey we're all going to make ourselves in a few minutes' time. Up to Christmas, this room was then handed over to the wives and girlfriends of the players. Something happened at Christmas, we still haven't been able to establish what it was, but Sir Alex has banned the wives and girlfriends from this room and they can only go in the international suite. They are still, however, allowed to use the facility at the end there, which is a creche. So any of the players' young children, or any of the guests' young children, who are too young to watch the football, are looked after, and we have three nannies. Yeah. Thinking about it, we have four nannies, don't we? Whoa. We have three nannies in there, looking after the kids. We have another nanny in the dressing room, putting the number 17 shirt on, to play for Manchester United. Whoa. That's your <laughs> let's, let's hope they never get mixed up. Could you imagine the Portuguese nanny in there, looking after the kids? <laughs> Could you imagine the other nanny running down the wing playing for Manchester? No, let's not go on there. <laughs> After the game, the players will have a shower, get changed, come in here, and usually there's some food on here for them. <coughs> Baked potato, uh, pizza, something for them to eat to replenish their energy levels before leaving here and going back upstairs to the international suite. Now the board behind me here is our international honours board. To actually get on here, you've got to be playing for Manchester United when you represent your country at full cap level. And the way it works is like we've got David Beckham here. He first played for England in 1996, left us in 2003, and he went to play for Real Madrid. But while he was here, he played 60 times for England. We can't put in there yet how many times he's played for England in total, because he thinks he still is. <laughs> okay. The England management might have other ideas. And if nobody picks him again, 115 will go in there as David's total. So that figure there is how many times they played for the country while at Manchester United. Figure in there how many times they played for the country in total with other teams or whatever. Okay? So that's what those boards are now. Anybody got any questions while we're in here? No. Who's got a question? Who's that? No questions? Right. Okay, I'll just check if the dressing room is free. When we go in the dressing room, can I ask you first of all, when we go in there, to sit down on the seats? I will then speak to you for a few minutes, then I will let you loose with your cameras. Otherwise, it just becomes a complete free-for-all. So <laughs> sit down first, I'll speak to you, then let me loose with your cameras. Okay? Let me check it's free.